Hello, Aquarius. This is your reading for the 14th through the 28th. This is for Aquarius. Sun moon rising is your signs. You guys are new. Welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Aquarius. Sun for Aquarius for the 14th through the 28th. The energy that's around you guys. What your challenge is. Underlying issue, the recent past, best possible outcome there, what's coming in, how you're feeling, influence there, your hopes, oh, uh uh, fear. And overall, the energy that's around you guys right now is the Ace of Wands. Brand new start. Passionate about it, all right? Yes, excited. Mm, this is challenging you guys here. Ooh. I think this is for it to not be strictly a sexual attraction. To actually go a little deeper. Okay, because there is emotional fulfillment to be had here as well. Maybe even, um, you know, having a family, uh, something that's going to like fulfill you all the way around. I think it's to grow this connection is what your challenge is here. Okay, let's see where you guys were coming from. Um, I think a lot of you have felt very removed before. Um, you may have come across a little cold to an individual or either um, this individual has come across kind of cold to you, uh, ignoring you at times, maybe not investing a lot of themselves into a connection here, okay? But I'm getting more so that this is you guys kind of like um, not really allowing yourself to feel um, the depth of these emotions is what where you're coming from, okay? So your challenge is to allow yourself to feel and experience this. All right, guys? So how you're feeling is, uh, you're not really sure about that. <laughs> I don't know if I want this. I don't know if I want to be in, com in a commitment. I know I like this person. I know I'm attracted to this person. But do I really want to be all in? That's where you are right now. It's like having to decide, like, do you really want to be all in? Because you know if you are all in, that you can't come across as aloof or as removed as you have been, okay? So what the issue is here is you guys have a queen of pentacles, all right? You have somebody that likes commitment. This is not somebody that is very flaky, that... Um, you know, that goes on a date tomorrow and then next week she's on a date with somebody else or he's on a date with someone else. This person dates with a purpose, okay? This is a very supportive, attractive, confident person that you have here and you know this, okay? So the best possible outcome here is that you guys will work with this person. You will get your emotions and your actions in check. Balance it out. Look at this. Your action and your emotions. Temperance. Your action and your emotion. Mixing the fire and the water together. Okay. What's coming in for you? Here you go. You're at a stalemate. Mm, I'm really not sure though. I'm not sure if I want this for real. I'm not sure if I can do this. Can I even be who this person wants me to be? Or who they need me to be? Do I want to devote my time and energy to this? Okay? Do I want to, like, be vulnerable to this person? You're coming in very indecisive, okay? So, what your influence is here is... Uh, this is, a, this is a soulmate connection for you guys, okay? So there, there is a potential for you guys to be truly happy here. Truly, truly happy here, okay? And I get that some of you may not be ready. You may not be ready. Um, 
but if you guys are not ready, truly feel that you aren't ready, um, just be sure of what it is that you want. Because sometimes even when you're like this, you may not think that you're being hurtful, but for somebody that feels like this, that knows exactly what it is that they want, this right here can come across very hurtful and have lasting consequences, okay? Of being flaky, being in and out, being indecisive, not knowing if you want me, um, you know, give, giving mixed signals, basically, okay? So be careful of that because this is a strong soulmate connection here. Okay. Somebody that I feel like you guys have shared, um, you've shared a lot with this person. This person feels very familiar to you. Even though you come across like this at times, um, this is just the way you come across. But I get that you have very strong feelings for this individual. Okay, Your hopes is that this will be something substantial, that you can offer something to this person. Or if this is somebody else that you know, is feeling this way about you, you're, you're hoping and praying that this person really is, you know, the right one. This is a real thing is what I'm getting from you guys, okay? Yeah. Your fear is that you will not know. You want to be for sure. You're holding yourself back here. You're chaining yourself up. Unstick yourself from this prison, your own prison, okay? And then the overall is confusion. Seven of Cups. Not knowing what you want to do. Going back and forth. Thinking maybe if you get locked down with this person that, you know, the right person is, is out there somewhere. Confusion. Illusion. Don't let this ruin this for you, okay? Because that's all it is. It's an illusion. It's an illusion. Look at this. This is what you want. But this is what you're, you're going to be going through here. It's like, it, I feel there's a need for you guys to just kind of let go. Um, go with the flow. Go with the flow of the universe. Do what you feel, do what feels good and natural, natural for you guys, okay? That is what's needed here. Because I'm getting that you guys feel so very strongly for someone, but it almost scares you. Okay, so we have Sagittarius, Scorpio, um, Gemini, Libra, Aries, uh, I feel any earth sign here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Pisces is here, okay, and um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon, good luck.